Dr. David Armstrong has been the director of Salsa since its founding in 2008. Salsa, or the Southern Arizona Limb Salvage Alliance, is a clinical and research-oriented alliance dedicated to advancing care of the diabetic foot. Amazingly, within diabetes, the most common reason that someone will end up in hospital is not for high blood pressure or a heart attack or a stroke. Remarkably, it's for a foot problem. Uh, and those foot problems are typically infected wounds. Uh, and that's what leads to an amputation every 20 seconds now around the world secondary to diabetes. People with diabetes, over time, lose the gift of pain. Uh, it's called neuropathy, peripheral neuropathy, and over time they can wear a hole in their foot, just as we might wear a hole in a shoe or a sock, and that hole is called an ulcer. Uh, and what happens is, is that hole, that, that ulcer, is uh, often gets infected. What we know is that a wound will heat up before it breaks down. And if we can identify that hot spot, then we can stop the problem. This technology now has been ported into a number of different kinds of form factors, if you will. The one that we think holds a lot of promise is as a scale. So then someone can step on this device and then it can identify a hot spot and it can say, Ms. Garcia, your big toe is hotter than your other big toe. Uh, maybe you should take it easy and we are now, with your permission, going to alert your doctor, and we're going to have Dr. Smith see you on Friday. We're going to make that appointment because we already have that all dialed in. Dr. Armstrong's team also created the Smart Wound Imager, a device which uses thermography to track the wound healing process. The ability to take pictures uh, helps the clinician and researchers like me to understand what's going on underneath. Uh, we know temperature is a surrogate marker for inflammation. We've, we've used that information to design products to prevent problems, but we can also use that information to understand the wound healing process. In addition to monitoring foot temperatures, determining high pressure points can also help in the prevention of ulcers. Dr. Armstrong and his team have been collaborating with international partners to develop some of these pressure sensitive devices. The first device that we've developed is a pressure sensitive insole. There are eight discrete pressure sensors located within the insole itself at key locations where patients tend to incur pressure induced problems. So that information is fed to this node that's worn on the shoelaces and that information is analyzed in terms of the amount of time that's spent in a certain pressure range and the pressure range itself. And then that information is, is analyzed via, via the protocol that's built into the software and wirelessly sent to the watch that the patient wears. A device like this is really able to provide patients with feedback that they otherwise wouldn't have to really empower themselves to take control of their disease and really take a proactive approach to solving the problems associated with peripheral neuropathy. The good news about all of this is that we can make a difference. Uh, and if we understand what causes the problem, then we can attack it at its source. And that, I think, in terms of innovation, is a lot of what's been going on uh, with our salsa group uh, at the University of Arizona in terms of innovation and ideation, uh, and also with many of our partners, not only in the United States, but worldwide.